Hey. Welcome to Kearney Customs. have a windshield. It's hard to tip one of these over. Well. Hi, my name's Alex and I like to work on things with motors. This is a 2013 Easy Go. It's made by the Textron company and it's electric assisted gas power basically the electric motor starts the gas motor and then the gas motor takes over from there belt drive it's 2013 i don't know if i said that but i'm saying it again sweet wheels um i believe the back wheels are locked up because they're drums i think the fronts are fine because there's no brakes on them so they 
they'll, they'll move. Steering still works great. I mean, who knows? It might be as easy as like uh, just starting it up or just putting a fresh battery in it and, you know, some gas. I'm not even gonna put a fresh battery in. I'm just gonna charge the current battery and we'll see if it holds the charge. And then we'll go from there. It's pretty grimy. First thing I'm gonna do is work on the back brakes and see if I can't get these wheels to free up. So let's do it. Yeah. Oh my. And yeah, I'm sweaty. It's Louisiana. First try. the rear drum there's one on each side so even if we get this one free we're still gonna have to get the other one free it's got a castle nut on it so we gotta get this cotter pin out of here it actually doesn't look that bad in here i mean the brakes are locked up 100 percent but like like i mean this looks great the stud the wheel studs look great it just looks like it's been sitting for a while but it doesn't look like it's in bad shape either cotter pins up Freaking worst. Come on, baby. Fun time. Yes! Got him! There we go. Okay. Castle nut off. Washer bent. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is seized. Uh, let's get a little bit of persuasion in the situation. You move. a lot. <laughs> Lord of mercy. Got the drums off. Holy spider webs. Wow. These brakes are brand new. There we go. We can spin them now. That was the problem. Look at that. Boom. Where's the brake clean when you need it, right? <laughs> Real dirty. Grody. Let's see if we can actually move this thing now. So yeah, day one of working on this thing and we finally got the wheels freed up. So now we can roll her around easier. But as you can tell, this is gonna be a project. Da -da 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 -da. We'll wash her up, get into the engine bay. I'm excited. I mean, I'm glad we got the wheel freed up so we can actually move her around. Everywhere is a little grody. I don't know if you can tell on my hands and my shirt and just the general disgustingness of who I am right now. I'm pretty, uh, excited. So I think this thing will run and I think it'll be a lot of fun. 
it'll run. It'll be a lot of fun. Well, we set out to get this thing off of the thing and under the thing. So I guess we accomplished our goal today, which I just realized was the goal. Huh, pro tip, if you want to accomplish goals, set the goals after you've done the thing. Simple as that. Um, it leans to the left. Not really sure why it leans to the left. It's hard to tip one of these over. Again, I'm not sure why. Something to look into in the future. But yeah, everything else on this thing is awesome. I mean, steering's great, brakes are good. Oh, we just need gas and electricity. And I honestly think this thing will run. That's day one. Okay, bye. My 92 year old neighbor is working in her front yard right now. What's your excuse? I'm just kidding, you can do what you want. Hopefully you don't get soaking wet. Got her power washed, so now I don't have to work in the feces and mouse urine. So that's good. That's a good thing we did that. There's still a lot to clean, but because if we're gonna work on this thing, I'd rather not get feces all over my hands. Battery's dead. Currently, the Jeep's battery is dead, so that's fun. It went. It's clean. It rolls around now. We're ready to tear into it. I'm excited. It was the lamest like. I'm excited. <laughs> no, I am excited. I am. I promise. Um, I'm excited to learn more about it. Um, shut up. Wow, there are a lot of wasps. We got a new battery. I can't remember what day this is. I think it's day three. I'm gonna bring this in here a little bit. We're gonna hook up the battery and just see what burns down and what doesn't burn down. Potentially get the fuel tank out and clean that. Dispose of the old gasoline properly. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. Let's do it. Okay, let's get this off of here and potentially start some fire. Hopefully not though, we don't want fire, but we might just cough it. So what is this? We're gonna have to figure out what all this does, but right now we're just going to put this battery in here and see what sets off. Get out of there. Wow, you're big. Can you hurt me? Hello. Get out. There's a lot of spiders in this thing. <clears throat> it's making spider webs everywhere. It's not Halloween, get out. Yeah, just crush all of that stuff. Um, where is my, there it is. Dirga dirgas. And bending over like this really works out your, uh, it, these are your quads, these are your hamstrings, right? So maybe I have that backwards, I don't know. My brother's a doctor, he'll tell me right. He doesn't like it when I call him a doctor. Dr. Kearney, I'm paging Dr. Kearney. Alright, it's okay, it's okay. I don't know if I'm blocking the camera. Oh God. That's fondue, and she barks at everything. I think we're good. 
She's on the other side of the house now. Nothing's sparking, so that's good news. Let's get the key and see if any lights come on. So what we're gonna be doing here, we're just gonna see if this oil light comes on. Oh, so many spider webs, Jesus. We're gonna see if this turns on. Should, if it doesn't, got more problems. Do you even golf, bro? Holy so I can't say that. Um, okay, <laughs> let me show you what I just saw. So I have the key on and I'm just gonna tap the gas. See? So we are getting movement, but I don't wanna try and start it right now. That gas, I mean, I don't know the last time they had this running, so I'm assuming that's all horrible. So next thing we need to do, take out this gas tank. No. Flush it and then put in some new gas and see what happens. I mean, it may just start up, who knows? Wouldn't that be lucky? Okie dokie. If that's all it took, I'm gonna be really mad because I wanted it to be harder. That's just the battery power. All you needed was some new gas, clean gas, and gas, and varnish. Cool. Hi, I'm Alex. You're disgusting. I'm so excited. Gonna find my baby, gonna hold her tight. This is a kid show. Oh! Got it. Getting, well, I think we're gonna have to take the carb off and clean it. I've got clean gas running through it now. This is day three. We made some progress. We heard it fire, so we know it runs. Let's see if we can't figure out why it's not running right. Day three. We out. What is this, day four? I think it's day four. First, we got it off the trailer. Second, and we got the brake drum taken care of. Second, we pressure washed yesterday. We did get it to pop off, but not as good as I was hoping. I thought maybe all it would take was putting the actual gas line uh, back together, not having to drain the, the, the gas tank, and we were gonna, able to be, gonna be able to run it, but I'm pretty sure that my stupid self tried to use that gas that was in the tank to run the, the motor and I, I should have known better, but that stuff is like varnish and it was just eating up the inside of the actual gas line. So we are today gonna drain the gas tank uh, without removing it because we all know that's impossible. And then we're gonna take the carburetor off, we're going to clean it, and then we're gonna put that sucker back on there 
Hopefully we can get that done today. If not, we're going to do that another day, but go for today, drain the gas tank, get the carburetor off, clean it, put it back on, see if it works. And then if that doesn't work, then we're gonna look at spark. Uh, but I'm pretty sure spark is working fine. Mainly just me taking the spark plug out and making sure it's not just sooted over and completely useless. So yeah, that's the goal today. Okay, quick recap of what we've done. Freed up the rear brake, we pressure washed the whole thing, we drained the fuel tank, we added good gas, removed the carburetor, cleaned the carburetor, put the carbur... Oh my god. Well guys, I made a pretty big stupid. The entire bottom half of the carburetor isn't even installed right now. How is that gonna get gas into the motor? I've uh, never done that. So, fun stuff, we're learning. Well guys, that was eventful. A piece of metal got stuck in my upper eyelid and we couldn't find it. Finally, Renee found it. She got it out with a Q-tip. Wear safety glasses, I guess. Don't touch exhaust. So I think we got a couple things going against us right now. We need a car kit and we need a new belt. The reason I know we need a car kit is because there's not enough fuel being pulled into the actual carburetor. The reason I know that is because even when I go full throttle, it's not getting enough, but every time I choke it, it'll light off. So we just need more fuel. Day four was a struggle. <laughs> That's enough for today. See you guys next time. Hi! Check it out, my nerds. Got the stuff for the carburetor, so we're gonna do that. I don't have the belt yet, though, so we probably can't drive it, but we can at least make it run kind of better, almost gooder. Day five of the golf cart fixing. Here's another angle of me doing stuff. I never even put top air. I never put tire in the airs. <laughs> Stupid. 
Working on a golf cart, making lots of noise. I'm gonna have a pop tart with my boys. Kids down the road are making noise. Come on, baby, feel, feel. I swear that same kid cries every single day. What if you have kids? Wow. That's why. Working on golf carts, it's like working on jet skis. Everything is hard and it's a squeeze. Some kids dying over there. Don't worry guys, the kids are still out here making rockets. <laughs> All right, dudes and dudettes. Let's see if what we did did anything. It's in neutral. Sorry, Piper. She hates that noise. Oh, right. Needs to build up gas. started working. <laughs> That's awesome. I really want to take it for a ride. This is a success, for real. All right. Well, that's awesome. Day five. Success. Down for today. Make sure this thing's in neutral, right? So basically, I just wanted to show you what's going on right now. That belt is just spinning. See? It's just spinning on there. So the new belt is gonna be a lot tighter than this one. So let's put that on. Wait one flipping moment. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry, Andrew. Oh, I'm so stupid. Guys, I should have known, and I didn't, but I should have. This, that's adjustable. So we can tighten that belt up and we don't even need the new belt. I will be returning that belt and giving you your money back, Andrew. So sorry about that. Uh, okay, well, that's easy. <laughs> of course it's that easy. Let's see if that's tight enough. to go tighter. It's very tight now. I'm gonna lock this bolt back down. This is ridiculous. Oh, Alex, 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 we could have been riding it this whole time. You Dumbo. Just see if this thing actually like wants to, okay? But the good thing is it's turning the motor over, which means that belt is tight enough now. All right, that's enough to get us where we need to go. Okay, I know it may sound like it, but we don't have gas actually getting to the motor. I'm not quite sure, but it's not, yeah, I, I don't know why this wouldn't be pulling anything.
Hey guys, it's Alex here. Um, what you're looking at is a guy who's so stupid he fails to realize that the forward and reverse knob is leaning to the right. So this cart is about to be shoved into reverse and going to be shoved into the Jeep. Don't do what I do. Think ahead and don't be stupid. Okay, bye. Crap out of me. Stupid. I can't believe that didn't do more damage. Luckily, you have these metal bars, and these metal bars stopped it from hitting the Jeep or breaking anything. Or the only damage I've seen is to this little plastic right here. And considering, that's that's all right. We're okay. Man, what a stupid thing to do. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Uh, some good news, we do have gas coming up. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, like I said before, if I didn't, I'm saying it now. There's a rubber, I don't know what you call it, but there's a rubber circle inside of the fuel pump that actually works as a vacuum kind of pressure thing that sends fuel into the carburetor. I don't know the name of it, I just know how it works. We may need a new one of that if this doesn't get gas quick enough, like you should be able to hit the, the gas pedal and it fire right off. But for some reason it takes it a few seconds. So for now, because it's raining, I'm still gonna go drive it because this doesn't care if it's in, driven in the wet and it could still use a, a little bit more of a cleaning. You can't tell. I'm gonna go drive it and I have these goggles to protect my eyes from the rain because we're gonna be going so fast. That rain's gonna hit me in the eye. I don't want that. Just kidding, this thing is slow. But we can make it fast if that's something somebody wants to do. Be like all those girls on TikTok with their tongues sticking out. You know what I'm saying? Horn works again. Bop, bop. <laughs> <laughs> what you think of that dude that's so much fun oh now i want a golf cart <laughs> well there you go we got it running again it wasn't running and now it's running it needed a new battery a carb rebuild kit and i thought it needed a belt but actually Actually, you just needed to tighten the electric motor to where it'll actually catch the belt and not just spin freely. Didn't know that was an option until today, so I'm gonna return that belt. Sorry, Andrew. It's flawless. Brakes work great. Got good oil pressure. Only thing that I can see them. I can see them. I can see them. God. I cannot tell you how many times I have hit my head on this stupid thing. Only thing I see not working is the fuel gauge. But all the lights work, rears work too. There you go. See you on the next one. Boop, boop. Hey guys. Hi. Hey guys, just wanted to say thank you for watching the video and give y'all a little bit of a heads up on the next few things we got going. We have the diesel go-kart that I have not gotten running yet. So hopefully within the next few weeks we will. We also have another 
golf cart video coming, not on this one, but on a new one that a friend of mine reached out and said he wants to get it going again. Just to let you know, it's awesome. And it is completely gas powered and has a six inch lift on it already with mud tires. So I'm pretty stoked on it. If you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. It'd be a huge help to me. I hate even asking this because everybody does, but if you do like the video, just give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you want to subscribe and see more stupid shenanigans like this, go ahead, go for it. I'd love to have you. Okay, bye. See you on the next one. Boop, boop.